I was gonna switch up the lighting on the Lincoln, but I wanted to get some footage of what I got going on right now. So the low beams are uh, 5,500K. Um, everything is a 35 watt DDM tuning setup. So like I said, I got 5,500K in the uh, low beams and my high beams and fog lights are 4,300. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the fog lights now. So um, I'm actually gonna swap out my high beams to a LED. So I wanted to just kind of get some footage of the HID as a high beam. I figured while I was doing that, I'd, you know, get the low beams and the, the fog lights too. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fog lights. Give you an idea of what they add. Throw them back on there. I'll turn the fogs off and uh, hit the high beams. So probably the big issue with having HID for a high beam is the warm up time. And you really can't flash anyone with them. And it's really not a good idea to be flashing an HID setup because that can uh, end up ruining a ballast on you. But well, gives you an idea of what the high beams can do. It's pretty bright. Go ahead and turn them off. Kick them back on. Go ahead and turn the uh, low beams off. Put the low beams back on. Fog lights back on here. Turn down this way and uh, give you a shot of everything blazed up at the same time. So that's low beams, high beams, and the fog lights going. So turn the fogs off. Turn the high beams off. So like I said, I just wanted to capture some footage of this because I picked up some LEDs for the uh, for the high beams. So see what the difference is. Alright, got the bulb in. Doesn't want to fit very much. Do some grinding to get it on there. But so far so good. Let's see if I can get the other one in there. All right, got the uh, passenger side light off. You're gonna need a uh, T20 Torx to get the cover off. <clears throat> I already have the other cover off, so it's not a big deal. So I have to uh, get my HID stuff out of here. And then to get that bulb to fit, gonna have to do some uh, cutting with that Dremel tool. 
All right, so the problem with uh, the LED bulb is the back of it is so big. It's got the fan or whatever back here, and it's running into the housing. So where it fits into the bulb, this whole area is going to have to be clearanced out so this thing will fit in there. So that's what I did on the other headlight. So the other thing is, uh, you know, cover up the hole so nothing gets into the headlight. And then I stuff some rags in here so I can uh, vacuum this out. And this whole thing is kind of open and goes to where you can see into the lens. So I want to try to stop as much of this plastic flashing that's going to come off here from grinding it from getting into the headlight. So it's got stuffed up with a rag. All right, got that chopped up. The rag's out of there. I'll have to uh, pull the tape off and try test fitting the bulb. Might have to cut it some more, but it should be okay. We'll see. Eh, got it pretty good, but I'm gonna chop a little bit more off of there. Should be okay. All right, should be enough clearance, that looks good. Looks pretty good in the housing, should work. All right, got that plugged in. Looks like everything's good. So get these uh, headlights pushed back in. Should be all set to go. All right, that's just the high beams. So I'll take it for a ride and do the lights again. All right, so I got the low beams and the fogs on. Hit the high beams. That's pretty good. That's, I don't know. It's either on power or even slightly better than the HID. So, kill the fog lights, hit those high beams. It's the uh, high beams only. Get the low beams back on, kill the high beams. Yeah, the instant on is really nice. I think uh, LED is really the way to go, especially if you're trying to do a high beam. Because the warm up time on the HID is just, it's just too long to really make it good for a high beam bulb, especially for flashing. You don't have the instant on, it's, it just doesn't work out well. Alright, so again, that's just the low beams, the high beams. That's really nice, and especially, um, you know, compared to HID, trying to run a ballast and all that. I mean, it kind of sucked on this one, like, the LED kind of big and I had to cut up the housing but I mean I got it in there so that worked out pretty good and then not having the amount of ballast is actually really nice
right there it is with the low beams. I said before the low beams are 5500K and those high beams are 6500. They actually match pretty close. Kind of surprised. Figured there'd be a little more difference than that. with the fog lights. The fog lights are 4300. You can kind of see they're a little bit warmer of a color temperature. I actually ordered some 5500K fog light bulbs so probably be swapping those out and that way the uh, headlights should be matching the fog lights. There it is with the high beams and the fog lights. Right, guys I'll get you a link to those LED bulbs got them on Amazon and actually uh, I've got a set for the Mustang too I haven't put them in yet though but I'm pretty impressed with them especially for the price you really can't beat it and I mean I'm a pretty huge fan of uh, HID kits but the installation is just so much easier without having to mount a ballast or whatever. And then like I said, especially in this application, if you're trying to do a high beam, you know, the LED is going to give you that instant on. And to me, that makes a world of difference. It's really the way to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.